what you are looking at right here on the screen is security camera footage from a fraudulent Indian Geek Squad call center. But it wasn't after a full month when I took the access of this machine that we realized that these refund scammers had CCTV. When we first got the initial access, it was pretty obvious that these guys only scammed out of this room. They even have a place to cook and eat like you saw in the intro. Now you must be wondering, what are these camera views and this video that was taken from a cell phone in 2017? Well, since we only had 4 camera views, I will explain slowly how they go from this section to this office in a matter of a minute or two. Now while I haven't watched any of them specifically walk through these front doors, it was pretty apparent that there was multiple entrances and exits. But these guys scam on the second floor of the global business park located in Shandigarh that's needed to be accessed through an escalator or a lift. Now I thought maybe I should call this female scammer and ask for ourselves on where she is working from. Okay, sorry Ali, I didn't know that. Um, so you said you're from the geek squads, but it doesn't sound like, it doesn't sound like you're very from the, it doesn't really sound, are you from like, uh, are you outsourced or something? I mean, you just sound a bit like <laughs> that's okay. Is that who I'm speaking with? What a bitch. <laughs> well, that didn't really tell us much, but what we do know is more companies here are legitimate, like this brewery, Baskin Robbins, and this food theater. But some offices in the Global Business Park did appear to have scammers. Now while it's needless to say, not everyone you see here is a scammer. A good amount of these people are innocent and have no idea about the scams happening in this room. I would even like to call this guy that you saw already somewhat innocent because all I've seen him do is clean the call center and occasionally change the pee bucket. So my best guess is he's a cleaner of some sort that works for the building as I have never seen him sit down and man the phone. These innocent people have even left many good reviews about the establishments that are withheld inside of the business park. But there are some people who left notes about data scams which leads me and the people that I work with to either believe there are more scams in there or these guys have switched up what they do in the last couple months. Now I'll explain how I put two and two together and how this hallway leads to this scam office. You will see right here, this scammer walks through this small hallway ending up in the view of camera 3. If we switch over to camera 4, he will appear on the right hand side by the walkway. If we cut back to camera 3 though, you will see him walk back into the same small hallway and eventually opening the door to camera 1, which shows him walk in on the top right of the screen. All of this meaning these guys are on the left side of the building, most likely never taking this main elevator right here. Another thing that further proves this point is the scammers looking outside of this window which kind of matches up with the ones you can see in the photo of the exterior of the building. And fun fact about the man that you see by the window, on this day he was actually sitting down earlier and filling out some type of application to join these global business park fraudsters. They might be wondering why would a scam operation be located in the middle of a global business park and not in some house or something like we've seen in the past. Well like we mentioned before there is a portion of legitimate businesses in this building which comes into use for the scammers just in case one day they get raided they can point the fingers to the legitimate employees and possibly make themselves look innocent. These idiots even smoke right there in the hallway outside of the scam office. The thing in this video that is quite different from all my other videos though is not the fact that we have access to these scammers CCTV but more the fact that we are not going to show much victim saving as most of the time that we were monitoring them they would just sit around on their phones not really doing much and occasionally eat together like one big happy family. So thankfully we didn't have to save much people and once they feel like they've had a pretty productive day of just laying around and doing nothing they turn off the lights, shut down the PCs and ultimately going home saying they have work in this building. Now I thought maybe we should get these scammers a taste of their own medicine. Click on fast, you will get your money fast. Click on fast, you can check in your bank. You will definitely receive the money. Ma'am, home screen. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ma'am, you need to go home screen or a main screen. Your main screen, ma'am. Your phone's main screen. Oh, really? I, I'm also watching, you know, Imam is someone on the computer. I'm watching that. Like you can see from many videos, these guys will curse, scream, and abuse their victims. Funny enough, I end up telling this female scammer to go get a job. Hey, yo, go get a job. Hey, stop scamming. Go get a job. Now, while I wanted to keep it as destructive as possible, I also played a little game with the scammers and pretended to be a victim while I was naming items that I saw in the call center. Let's start off right here with this girl that you saw earlier. You received an invoice from us? Yeah, I did actually. And uh, I have my like uh, green duffel bag over here and uh, in other things, but I just want to make sure that I can get this Geek Squad charge like sorted, if you know what I'm saying. 
Can you provide me the order number, sir? Uh, yeah, sure. It's uh, G is in draft, D is in Dango, Y is in Yankee, 87656. Yeah, I'm sure I'm really why I'm like receiving this charge because, you know, I've got my pickups and all my other stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to get this sorted. Hold the line. At this point, she pretty much knew that I was messing with her and told me that she would just cancel the order. So you don't have to worry about it. I cancel the order, okay? Well, you're a b scammer. Yes, sir. How may I help you? How's it going, Eric? So I've got a problem over here. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm just making sure because I really enjoy, you know, purple stoves and stuff. So listen. All right. So can you... Explain me what exactly our problem are facing with your computer. I just want to make sure that I can get everything sorted. I think someone might be somehow in the computer. I'm not sure if you're familiar with people being inside your stuff, but I don't want them to be inside of my computer. All right, do not worry. We will provide you complete I'm help. I'm in a black chair and I don't want it to get, you know, stolen. Computer screen. Well, now I've just got the uh, Google Chrome. I've got my purple water bottle right next to me, so I'm good to go. All right. Okay. So you can hang up the call. You will be receive an email. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. I'll wait for the email. I'll waiting. For yeah. The bye bye. Orange buckets. Okay. Bye bye. Now, since they didn't even realize I had access to their CCTV, I decided to tell Scambader to blast very loud noises into the scammer's ear when they pick up the phone. Sorry? Yes? Tell me, what's your problem? <laughs> what was that? Shut the f up, you new asshole! If you want to see more of that stuff, highly recommend checking out Scambiator's video on this very exact call center. I also wanted to explain where our compromised machines were at to make it easier for you people at home to understand. The computer in the corner is a machine called PC11 Admin and is usually occupied by this gentleman right here. If we move on slightly to the left, we will meet Best Buy PC which is mostly manned by this male in the orange shirt. If we head behind that man, we will end up at PC45, which concludes most of the running desktops, as some days these three guys would come into the scam office with laptops. But we didn't even stop there when it came to blasting these guys' ears, as Scambader decided to let one of the scammers remote to his PC and prepare a jump scare for the scammers to view. Our target is this gentleman who operates PC11 admin. Provide me the my device ID, the numbers 085, click on accept. Funny, right? Well, we also got to witness multiple outrages from the scammers, just like this one. And you understand, whenever you're hacked, I mean to say, whenever you're using internet, I mean to say, whenever you're online, you are connected to the whole big scary world. And I believe you understand that. So, for for protecting you from the hackers and everything, we need a security. We, we cannot, like, uh, do it verbally. You need to get that thing, man. It's it's up to you. You don't want to buy from us. You don't want to buy from us, ma'am. You can buy it from Amazon. You will, you can buy it from Walmart. I will I will I will install it for you. But you will get expensive from Amazon. As you can see, this victim doesn't even sound interested in falling for this scammer's trap, which makes the scammer slightly angry. All right, thank you. We then watch him pack up his laptop and then rage quit out the building for being unsuccessful with this scam. Well, you might be wondering, who is that man that you just saw rage quit out the building? His name is Mohit Saxena, and he happens to bring his laptop into this office. Not so smart, as there's a bunch of compromised machines in that room, meaning his was next. As we took the access of his laptop, it was quite apparent that Mohit could have been the mastermind behind this operation. His computer alone had a ton of files that were very interesting. He was even dumb enough to turn the computer on in his home, which allowed us to find out where he lives. Approximately 1.15 kilometers, or 669 meters, away from the business park. Now as you can tell, we don't really like Mohit, so we are going to put him and his buddies behind the bars. What we did is we involved our fellow Indian scam beater friend, How to Delete, because he was able to get in contact with the Punjab police force in order to get these guys arrested. And after a couple of days, the Punjab police force said they were ready. And I said, Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! We handed them all of the information we had, and they were now sitting outside of the business park, waiting for the green light so they can go inside of the building and raid the call center. But Mohit was nowhere to be found. We knew he came in earlier because his laptop is sitting on the glass table. 
but then suddenly Moet appears from the elevator. Now all Sven had to do was tell the officers what Moet was wearing and once he was seated we told him to go in and completely shut this operation down. It starts off with these two guys that walk in from separate doors. You can see a bit of eye contact at 1450. Pay close attention to this male in the blue jeans as he'll become important in a second or two. They then proceeded to get followed by a couple of more officers. Now my best guess is they went straight for the room that holds the power to the building. Now while I can't confirm this exactly what happened, this is my theory. Remember the male in the blue jeans? Well, he probably told a couple other officers that when he appears on camera view 3, they should unplug the electricity. And this unfortunately meant we couldn't view the police walking into the scam office and confronting Mohit. But what I think is there are around 5 officers behind this man and they took a beeline left into this hallway raiding Mohit and his scam agents. Now while I never thought I'd do this or even have a chance to put scammers in jail, it's safe to say that Mohit won't be scamming in this office anymore. If you're curious in knowing how much money Mohit was making in the span of 4 months, he scammed people in total out of $100,000. We can even see all the victims he scammed, but thankfully Scambader reported all of his accounts like his seamless checks account and got them locked and hopefully put under investigation. Additionally, we got to view a couple articles about the call center being raided, even Hindustan Times naming all of the scammers that were involved in the raid. Quote, the arrested accused are Mohit Saxena, Arshad Verma, Chitan Kumar, and Sahil Sharma. If you want to read the rest, I left the link down in the description below for anybody to look at. Now you might have saw, not all the scammers were in the call center at the time of the raid, meaning some of them are still free, but overall, this was a major success. I would like to give a special thank you to anyone who made it this far, and an even bigger thank you to Sven and the SSP Mohali and Cybercrime team of SAS Nagar for helping me with this operation, as well as Recon, Midnight, and Scambader for not only helping me raid the call center, but gathering all the information we needed to shut these guys down. All of their links will be in the description below.